comment and subscribe on the biggest show on the internet. My DM Podcast, live from Joe. Okay. I'm your host, Chantal Thomas Worldwide, bringing you nothing but world-class entertainment news, views, and everything hip-hop. I'm also the curator of The Goat magazine, and speaking about the greatest of all times, we've got Phantom Steez in the space, rocking with them shades. Damn, 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 hey, damn. I like it. Hey, Speaking of hey, greatest of all time. Hey. <laughs> Listen, you are. <laughs> I, like, I like how you said that. I like how you said Where that. are you from, man? I like your English. I always comment on people's English here. And then I just determine. Yesterday, we had someone from Benoni. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Where damn. From? Where's the English I'm, from? I'm from the East as well. Um, but side, I'm actually side? from Timbisa. <gasps> Serious? Me too. Are you from Timbisa? Yeah, in Kuleka. What? Timbisa. Where in Timbisa? Siziba. Yeah, Cliff and Dane. No way, get out of here. I was one of the first people to stay. Cliff and Dane. No, I dude, said, I'm from Cliff and Dane. What you talking about? Are you like. <laughs> <laughs> you do look familiar. Dude, I'm from Cliff and Dane. I'm from Cliff and Dane. I started at 2092 Skulu Lake Street. Skulu Yes. Where, extension Yes. Across Extension 2, I think. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I was the first thing. Oh, my God. Because Extension 1. I was Extension. So there was Extension 1 before Extension 2. Okay, yes. But, uh, but our extension, <laughs> I think, is nicer than yours. Ah, uh, no, only because you came after. Of course. Yeah, so they it. revamped you guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of meeting someone from Keep <laughs> Fontaine? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's oh crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I grew up there. I grew up there. I grew up there. But I, I started, like, uh, in, like, Tembi, Sakuma, Shimu. But I did one thing. That's, that's Midrand, actually. Actually. But yeah, it's, it's actually Midrand. 1682. Where, how we came here Okay, Yako, okay. You know what I mean? Ah, and then 1632, that's Tembisa. So, oh my yeah, gosh. by Mashimu. I don't know if you know that. It's by Tembisa Station. Yes, Mashimu. I know by the station. Yeah, literally close to there. That's yeah. That's where, where, where did you go to I high school? Up. Where did you go to high school? I went to Sapia. <laughs> oh my gosh! I went to large school Moifontein. They like Moifontein. I went to Moifontein. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yo, we got East Ryan in the building, yo. East Ryan, <laughs> Beast Ryan, one time, you know. What's what good, what's good. Oh my gosh, this is this is going to be exciting. Okay, tell us about your new work. What's what's popping, what's happening, what's new? Um, Yeah, I got a new single that's out right now. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, the beat is like, I'm a piano, but the, the delivery is like hip-hop, trap, vibe. So, you know, we'd say trap piano or, you know what I mean? Like, whichever way. It's basically, it's like, kind of like cross, cross-genre type thing. Speaking about your cross genre, someone said, I think it was Maverick, he was telling me that there's like, he wanted to ask you a question based on your, um, like he says that you you s- almost sound like a modern version of Pitch Black Afro. <laughs> That's Are we crazy. onto something? That's crazy, because like, <laughs> he's actually like, like Pitch Black is actually one of the people that inspired like some of my music you see yeah, now like uh when i did uh stimela mm. yeah stimela stimela was definitely like that was inspired like by pitch black like the delivery you know um the flows the fl- oh. yeah you know what i mean it's so proper. i just of course like modernized it to like now trap and, yeah yeah and all that stuff so you yeah and you guys you guys have a lot in common you guys got the hair going on he's got it going now you guys yeah. going down you know what i won't lie i actually wouldn't mind making a track with like pitch black i pitch think that'd be like a yeah like a it dream come true so, type oh, it would be so legendary like, yeah, yeah. i think you should um do we have his number Dr. D, do we have Pitch Black Afro's number since we can call people here? You're born now, baby. Oh, okay. But okay. I think you should. I think you should holler yeah. at the guy. Yeah. Um, it would be great. It would be legendary, especially because you just spoke it out into existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And he's watching, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Where do you know Sia from? Because when we walked in here, you're very affiliated with Usia. You guys have nice chats. And people who don't know you that just made you, we get jealous because we're our uh, new so, so, guy like that. No, we've, uh, we've actually rocked a couple of sessions together uh-huh. uh, with me, him, Shampuru, um, and Kush, uh, Michael Kush. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did a couple of sessions. So we actually pulled up here at the studios. And um, yeah, uh, we made a couple of tracks, a couple of bangers. But before that, we actually, I actually met him. Um, he pulled up to one of our sessions mm-hmm. uh, when we were in uh, Santin. We were actually, yeah, we we're actually trying to 
uh, do a project at that time. And yeah, um, one of my boys, Jerome, he was like, no, I know this other crew, he's dope. And uh, yeah, uh, he pulled through. And yeah, sure. that's how I met him, yeah. So yesterday we were talking about um, how people get their music out there, especially in our genre of work, in the hip hop world, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What do you have to say? Because we spoke about money being the factor, like an, an underlying factor of how you get your music out there to begin with, right? Definitely. Do you know definitely. any mshiga shiga ways of entering this thing? Do you need to, for example, mm -hmm. if a hacker could hack numbers for you do you think it's possible for the career to expand the same way or do we have to go through like a whole pathway and a network of specific people you mean like in terms of streams yeah and distributing your music oh excuse me um i think um maybe there, there are there, there are people that of course like uh, do the hackings and stuff i don't know you know but i think it's not i just think it's not genuine in the sure. long run um because if you don't have that fan base there's certain factors that will come into play where you you actually need them like for example if if you have a high number of streams mm -hmm. right and you post a video on instagram and you like it doesn't it doesn't make sense somehow right you yeah. have a big number but your likes are low so you may you try to make an event about a song that you just dropped mm. who's gonna be there nobody because you've you, you know what i mean so you, you can't actually tell you can't how many it. people fucks with your in, uh, yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying so i think in a in a genuine sense it's always important i think rather look into getting the fans involved and basically getting more fans to be about you and yeah, yeah which is not a, a easy thing you know but um yeah that's the yeah. best way 100 percent. like mm. let's just keep it genuine at all times yeah um it's very true because a lot of people right now um i mean there's a guy who does um this thing called the climb up it's a it's a page where we celebrate artists as well okay and he's always posting about how new uh, i'll say the new cats in the game always looking up to the old cats or the the, the more legendary cats us now. okay you know, us oh okay now. i I, us now. I want time they just immediate just out there <laughs> but they don't know the process okay. um the process of the work that you are putting in so it's different from someone just entering the studio um well actually i don't know mm -hmm. what do you think makes a great poet rapper hip-hop head actually before i continue like a great poet rapper yeah like is it the person who writes or is it the person who freestyles or does it from the top of their head i don't like who do you think in our in our generation in our industry or people that you know who would you say is succeeding more is it the guys that are writing the work down or is it the guys that are just freestyling and free flowing and doing the most with the talent off the top of their heads I think it's it's it's, it's um, it depends, okay. you know. Um, it depends, and it's our kid. There's a kid in space. <laughs> Hello, Juju. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> it depends on, you know. Um, yeah. Yes, you see, it's hard. It's hard because it, it, of beats, bro. Also, beats come into play. I mean, look, it, okay, yeah, okay, right. When we uh, when we speak of success, right? True. There's a lot of things that come into yeah. play. You know what I mean? It's not whether you can freestyle or not. It's a matter of can you get people to be about you enough. Mm. You know what I mean? Or is your mark? Because one, there could be a, a freestyler that doesn't have dope marketing, then there could be someone that doesn't freestyle but has dope marketing True. you know what i mean so i don't think there's that's a big factor in terms of having to make it you know what i mean True. um um you know i think they both have their own uh Win -win greatness and down -downs, yeah you know man. what i mean uniqueness I, oh, and stuff. man i feel that way you know because we are having a lot of uh, new people coming up but they're looking up to us to see the formula 
You understand? Okay. Like, what is the formula for this thing? And then there's also the marketing element of, um, of performance. Yeah. And I think that's something that I personally struggle with a lot is the marketing element of also just Chantal Thomas worldwide. Yeah. Um, the voice is doing great. You know, it's, it's that, it's that, it's that. But I still don't think I've found my niche. In, in, terms in, in, like, in terms of like when I walk into a space what's that one thing that characterizes me yeah. you know what I mean it does help boost your career and make you ap- like eloquent definitely. and a lot more disciplined as well definitely. you understand definitely because I man we uh, I mean it's, it's all great to have one talent going on and on and on but Beyonce doesn't dance for nothing if you know what I'm saying true like true. she doesn't have to yeah she doesn't she have doesn't to she doesn't have to but a she gets that that working, and exactly. it's also like for me, uh, coming from dance, I've always believed like if you're gonna perform, you need to give people like something to enjoy. Like mm. you know what I mean. So like when they leave, they should be like, yo, damn, that oh, show, nice. like yeah. that was dope. You know what I mean? And like, oh no, he just came and like he played his music and then he just rocked. You know what yeah. I mean? Like not to say that yo people shouldn't do that or yeah. anything. It's just for me, I'd rather give you guys something more interesting you know what i mean like yeah I, i'd like to give you a show like things that you won't expect it's like oh damn i never expected you would do right. that you know what i mean so yeah i won't lie those are definitely and will always be the i mean it's the high you know what it also shows that the artist is trying to give the audience something physically back more than something that you're listening to you're not in touch with the artist whatsoever yes. but seeing you dancing and us being in that space and you are working you know because yeah. you're working like it's hard work to sing and dance Just, at the same time yeah, yeah, it's yeah, very it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a practice thing Definitely. it's a rehearsal thing yeah, it's, yeah, it's oh, a me. sound and lights it's cues it's all of yeah. that do you understand it's a whole thing and it's different like it's completely different if you're a dancer it's different to uh to like rap and yes. dance and Yo, if you're that's, that's if you're a rapper it's hard to you know what i mean so yeah. like having to like put both together and like rock yo but it's nice yo, it's yo, yo. nice yeah no no, no. i enjoy nice. it i enjoy it I definitely it's beautiful enjoy it. you know I what i think um i, st- I think I've, the first time i started seeing like rappers starting to move uh-huh. was, a lo- was a lot in kendrick videos you know um even shout though out the to movement kendrick, yeah, shout out to kendrick because yeah. yo man it's, it's yeah like like he actually like sometimes you know when i when i feel like because you know like the industry like like sometimes they can have like moments where they like put you down like you you can't somehow you just feel down because of like am i doing like the right thing or like or what you know what i'm saying Mm. because um when i go out it shows dude it's like things are amazing you know the love is Ah, real top you know what i mean and then of course like when you're sitting back at home and maybe like things are not happening the way you would have want them to you you know you start asking yourself like am i doing the right thing or should i look at a different way because now you start looking at maybe people that are not doing what you do and you forget how unique what you have is you know what i mean and it's like oh damn no i'm actually like what i'm doing not a lot of people can do so it's actually unique yeah you know what i mean and maybe the reason why they whatever act however they want to act is because they know of this uniqueness and it's like damn they can't do it like True. you know what i'm saying so for me it's like ah no i'd rather just stick with being unique and actually take this uniqueness to the top you True. know what i'm saying so it's actually better more more talent wise being a triple threat is is better than having just one yeah. you know you yeah. need to you need to know what your fight is in this thing you know what what are your weapons what yeah. do you have what's yeah, in yeah. your bag yeah you know kind of thing um man it's so inspirational it really 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 is and i think um the artists that are coming up right now mm-hmm. they think it's an overnight sensation thing we're doing but it's actually a building block thing we're doing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah it's you know you know it's crazy like i like um like because i'm also like a songwriter so i mean i've written a couple of songs for a couple of people and but like throughout my journey right i've actually seen like you know when you even even when i was dancing from from when i was dancing you know you would see people pop right you see someone come in like come in but right because they get so excited like they're so excited they don't they are unable to see what's what might happen in future yeah. so what they do is maybe like uh, maybe like fuck up relationships and yeah. do you know what i mean and then later on when everyone has turned their back on them now they realize oh damn 
that was my real nigga. And then it becomes that was a sad my, story You know online. what I mean? Then, then it becomes, oh, you know what I mean? And it's so crazy because like true. this happens so many times. Like it happens, like it, it happens. Like, it's, like I think it has happened with like three generations already. Like with me just growing up, I've got like three like types of generations. Like, okay, doom, okay, doom, okay, doom, hey son. That's the okay, one you know hit I mean? wonder effect. Yeah. We wonder why. And, yeah. and artists like coming out and saying oh I was used here used there this person disowned me here this person didn't do that I wasn't given my right remuneration yeah. but at the end of the day what is your attitude when you had those when opportunities when you had it yeah when you had that choice you know people don't talk about those kind of things and mm-hmm. I think in our industry people should start opening up about the truth behind it because it's 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 i mean it all goes back to your own humility your yeah. own obedience to your craft because like you said um we need to see this thing in front only not only now yeah we need to see yeah. it in front so i think that's also with um um having to mentally train yourself like yeah. and 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 be in in this career of yours you know what i mean and you, you can actually tell the difference when you see the artist like be that person because now you can God, they're taking their stuff serious now True. they're moving serious like you, you know what I mean mm-hmm. and then you can actually got people that are not taking this stuff serious you can go ah okay it's so After, obvious yeah you know what I'm saying and so I just think um, you know a lot of times we just need to actually take this thing serious and we'll actually have so much maybe discipline and and yeah you know, that's true yeah, yeah you know speaking of discipline and taking things seriously um i know you've been affiliated with all costa no aka how's it been performing or reminiscing on the music that you made with these people and the relationships that you had with them like how does that wh- um, what happens to you in those moments i mean it's 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 a it's a up and down um but one thing I know is that um, they would have definitely wanted me to keep going with and and do what I do the way, you know. Um, and you know, I've always prayed that they they are a good place yeah. and a and a good space. And wherever they are uh, in my life, maybe spiritually, if they can uh, help me out wherever, you know, I trust that they they definitely will. You know what I mean? So um, for me, I've yeah, that's that's always you know, that's that's what I've told myself, and uh, that's what has uh, kept me going. True. Yeah. How has it changed you, like perspective-wise? You know, because I mean, we never really expect loss. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, no one actually does. It's it's an, the most unpredictable thing in the world at this point. Yeah. yeah true. 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 Um, um, how does it affect your performances? Do you? How long do you take before you jump back into it with a stronger spirit? Does I mean, it take you a while? Yeah, it took me a, a bit of a while, you know what I mean? Uh, it took me a while and, uh, you know, like I was kind of chill like for for a minute. You know I mean, I was kind of chill, man. I was still making music and stuff, but I wasn't like my energy was not really, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I mean, even like sometimes I still I still get points where like my energy you know what i mean um mm-hmm. but like right now um i'm at a better space i'm definitely at a better space um you know uh, and and one thing like this thing has made me realize that yo dude yeah like things happen in life mm. things happen in life and you always have to like i wouldn't say like be ready but just just know that things like this happen and yeah you're just gonna have to take it in like that's the sad thing about <laughs> true about this life thing you know hey. like yeah oh, of, no. yo like <laughs> i mean yo like yeah like yeah, but you know i crazy. think it also you know loss also makes us highlight health you yeah, know? yeah. I've, you know what's crazy i've been hella health, healthy you crazy. see i've been hitting the gym <laughs> like no one's business yeah. like I've, I've definitely um I think it's also because of like them, them as as the people that I used to like chill with and and people that used to like motivate me a lot. You know what I mean? Like Keenan and Costa, they definitely used to uh, hit the gym, and I used to hit the gym with them as mm. well. You know what I mean? Especially Costa, we used to go to the gym a lot. You know, mm. and 
the last moments value when everything happened was when we were really going hard we were literally hitting the gym two times a day yes we knew that in the morning from six we say gym and then later on at six again we say gym you know what i mean yeah. so um that's so that's one of the things i definitely said you know what i have to keep this going because mentally what it does is like you you it's like you, you you kind of fortify your your mind and you are actually able to uh, do what you wanted to do so like some of the stuff that you wanted to do maybe goals or whatever that you wanted to like reach you know because of everything that happens and you're so free-flowing you don't have a it's like you're okay six o'clock i'm here what are i'm here what are i'm here because mm -hmm. at the same time you're doing this independently so it's not like you have a whole label that's telling you that no you had at six o'clock you have to hit the gym yeah. from here you have to go to For an you. interview after this you have to do that you yeah. know so it's more like yo okay damn i have to set this whole thing out for myself as True. an independent that's what you actually need to do so independent people that's what they actually need to do so you can ever you can not you can never feel like there's nothing to do there's always something there to do there is always something yeah. to do you know what i mean there's yeah. there's always something to do um even when it comes to like the like dropping music there's a rollout plan you need to put that out say okay oh no on this day i'm shooting this on this day i'm drop i'm i'm putting this on social media i'm you, you know what i mean so mm. because if you don't do that for yourself i think you 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 won't get to a level where because that's what the labels are doing so yeah. you need to be first do it for it's yourself. either you, you know what i'm saying like, like struggle guys yeah so yeah yo yeah. i i won't lie that whole that whole i mean lately in general artists i think we're putting in a lot more work and we're also realizing the importance of our health because you cannot perform well if you are not fit it's, it's the basics of theater it's the basics of live performance Definitely. you have to be fit enough you know what i mean mm -hmm. you have to be healthy you know what yeah. i mean and our culture is so full of uh, funny things before shows you know mm -hmm. substances before shows Definitely. and and you know i think a lot of the upcoming generation uses these things to fuel their energy and their stamina and the whatever not and then they don't, they don't realize at the end of the day your performance may go down there's a shooting and spiking of energies that go up and down up and down imagine that happening to you on the stage Definitely. you know mm -hmm. imagine you huffing and puffing yeah on your track yeah when in studio you were standing <laughs> still everything. you know these things are so yeah. obvious you know um Please continue to to do that. I also gym. Oh okay. All oh, right. Where I do you gym though? Every day. I, I run. I gym myself. Oh I'm okay. I'm an independent. And then gymma. Gymma. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I. I. You mean Lini? Uh, skipping rope. I. Inside. Ne hula hoop. Skipping. I. I yeah, skipping skip. hula hoop. For how long though? Like how, how long? Every do you day. Skip for? Oh no. They're skipping until yeah. until. It, it, the chest has to say oh so even if it's 30 seconds the days are different ah. <laughs> you can <laughs> you can some days you, you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 like, yeah, uh, no, no we must gym together one day please I like know. Yeah, you're gonna breathe heavily just know that no, it's gonna be there's a hill part. you know the here in Marvel there's this hill out of be between spa and the pharmacy yeah a huge like no one runs up that yeah. hill but in the morning after dropping off my nanas yeah. I'm like there's no chance I'm not going back to bed so run that hill every day I run the hill oh, and okay. I hate it ah, that's good I hate it that's but good. I look good. at it like a career thing you oh, see what like I mean oh it's a career thing yeah so <laughs> you think of your career as artist and just keep running up you're like you're almost there if you stop now that's like you stopping the career that's like you <laughs> That's, that's actually like you, that's that's what I'm exactly trying to point exactly. out. It's like you you like you 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 mentally fortify yourself exactly. like within your career. Guti, oh no, this thing I need to if I need to move like this. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, because if I'm because okay, like what I told myself in terms of this year, right? In terms of it's consistency. True. What? Yeah. So I was like, yo, I need to be consistent. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like I need to definitely be consistent. But how do I practice consistency? You know what I mean? It's like okay, no. What am I consistent at? Mm. So, okay, damn, what do I... Hey, I'm not... Hey, actually, what I'm am not, I... There's nothing hey, that I'm... Consistent hey. is my habits. <laughs> it's my bad habits. habits. I'm very consistent. Those are consistent. <laughs> yeah. Those you know are I mean? consistent. So I was like, no, man, let me... You know what? Let me let me hit the gym. Like, I, I do hit the gym yeah. here and there. Like, you know, but very... I'm but not, not consistent. consistent. You know what I mean? So I was like, mm. no, let me be consistent this time. Let yeah. me say Monday to Friday, I'm on it. Gym. It's enough. My, yeah. So it's enough. now, Good. now I do man, um, gym at seven. I do gym at seven, and then I come back 
and then at five, I do basketball. <gasps> I play ball too, dude. Yeah. I actually got a scholarship for ball. For real? Oh. Oh damn! I just started like learning. So. Oh. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of there. Like I mean, you know, like yo, these things come natural. You know. It's a nice <laughs> sport though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's seal the deal and close the show. Okay, we are live at Blueprint Studios. Uh, sorry, Ghostman. Do you want to say something? You want to ask him something? Talking about consistency. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think Econ he wasn't consistent to sign another artist? In? Do you th- uh, why do I think Akon wasn't consistent in signing more artists in SA? Uh, why do I think? I mean, I think firstly, um, it's how these things happen. You know what I mean? Akon a- a- didn't just say, "Yo, oh, let me see what's happening in SA." No, it's mm. because when it came to Costa, the music was spreading already. The song was doing amazing things already. So when when Akon discovered him it was you know what I mean it was already something that's already boiling. he was already in the spot yeah the you know what I mean was yeah r- it was something yeah. it was something that was already boiling and um, um, I guess of course for him he was gonna take it to the next level so maybe I think he hasn't seen anyone that maybe a potential that you know what I mean true yeah was it like a DM like yo yeah, actually, yeah. It was actually one of those. Oh, that's so nice. We have, like, from my info, like, yeah, from what I know. Yeah. It was actually one of those. It was like, I, I can't really tell exactly what happened, but I know it's like through the DMs type of thing. Who's the biggest artist or the, the best artist you've performed with live? Best. Who gives you the best energy on stage? Who's your top energy? Costa was my best energy. Oh, Pumpkin. Costa was my, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, we did a lot of shows with Costa, like, because we, we did Africa, we did, like, so, uh, he had an African tour, so he was like, yo, boys, and let's go. I'm like, yeah, I'm going, <laughs> you know, um, so we did a couple of countries in uh, Africa, we did Tanzania, we did Kenya, we did Malawi, we did Zim, uh, Yo, there's a lot, eh? Like, yes. there's a lot. I think yes. we did, and this was all in December. This was all in December. This happened what? Like December, and then even Jan. So by the time we say, oh no, it started in Jan. Yeah, it started in Jan, and then it happened in December. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, yo, it was ah, a lot. Awesome. Nah, it was a lot. It was a lot. Makes so, sense. Huh? Give, give us some info. Um, the Diamond Platinum collab. Yeah, yeah. So when we actually got to uh, Tanzania, then there's a guy called Mboso mm-hmm. who who is signed, yeah, who is signed under Diamond Platinum, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, so uh, he hit us up. He's like, "Yo, man, yo, um, of course, Costa is like, yo, bro, you dope, yo, man, uh, pull up, uh, let's do a studio session since you are in uh, Tanzania." Like, yeah, sure. He's like, yo, bro, let's go. So uh, we went. We went. And as we freaking driving, like, dude, you can see, like, diamond platinum everywhere. It's like posters everywhere. That guy is, like, so big. He's, like, he's like the president of that country. Oh, my god! It's crazy. There's this big, 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 big billboard <laughs> of him in chains, like, just chilling. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, 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 this is serious. You know what I mean? Like, you know, um, so, yeah, we actually went to his crib. We got there, met the guys and a studio session started i actually wasn't even supposed to be like uh, part of the song but because of my vibes you know of what course. i mean yeah. so they were like nah damn though you fucking like shit man yeah nah nah oh nah we're gonna gosh. you know what i mean we're gonna throw you in this one like yeah oh yeah sure you know um yeah and uh, that was the first joint we did which was moyo mm. yeah and then we did another one um oh yeah and then and then oh yeah we did another one for diamond platinum now uh diamond platinum which was which had focalistic in it yeah yeah so i just uh so i had to write for like costa like real quick i had to make it quick i'm thinking okay now i'm also thinking in tanzanian like language like yeah, what would you say add, like yeah. Uh, yeah yeah uh um so i I tried coming up with something and then of course they corrected me. They're like, nah, I just say it this way. It's more slang. Cause I was saying it the direct way, you know? <laughs> so I was like, ah, no, no, no. And then of course uh, he recorded and uh, they loved it. 
yeah they love this so much like yo we had a like literally the next day we were shooting a video what that's how crazy this immediately shit was. the next day we shooting oh my gosh that's fine the next day we shooting we shot that it was dope um came back and then uh, when we came back then uh uh we had a camp and then we did a superstar it's a song called superstar yeah so uh when we wrote that we were like in val there's like other places like glass everywhere you can see the water down here everywhere. it was very nice you know so you like you know it felt like a superstar and then uh we got diamond platinum involved in that one then yeah he featured on he that rocked. one yeah it's right for acoustic yeah, yeah yeah definitely so shout out for yeah no no definitely i have i've i've yeah i've i've written a, a couple of nah, yeah, yeah a couple uh, a, a lot of songs i've written i've written you know what i mean yeah i've yeah yeah um, but i am a songwriter that's, that's so you're allowed to so hit you up for songs right yeah yeah Can you hit me up? Like, yeah yeah, yeah dude. What, what do you say about um the beef that's going on with luna and zinga about it <laughs> 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 hey, man, hey like, my ghost i don't know man i don't know hey. no 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 i ain't about beefs man i ain't about beefs i mean um yes. um i think i think what they're doing is 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 a vibe you know something to you know yeah uh, shake you know shake hip-hop you know, the you know toy. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's um, not deep yeah yeah another thing dog how would you feel about like the tanzanian industry to sa industry as you mentioned you you made a song tonight and the following day they were self records but ready to put down the budget trying to put a song together and shoot a video mm-hmm. what's your view about the two industries they are all african industry and they are all they are all catering to the same people i mean we we don't have the same uh crowd actually and i think SA is actually one of the hottest crowds in the world. You guys know that. 100%. Yeah. It's like one of the We give like yo We dude, give we, in that crowd. Uh, no, like and in terms of being impressed though. Cuz a lot of people like out of SA, yo, people love you what why in SA they can just Look, you can literally be a you guys, can be a Drake and pull up and they'll just say uh, guys this guy, guys we you? have a problem in yeah, this <laughs> you're actually you know right saying? so um Yarrr. so it's already different in that aspect because already we like already SA is like the Hollywood of Africa type of thing you know what I mean like one of those if you know what I mean you know what I mean yeah no, <laughs> no it, but it is yeah um damn what were you saying I got I kind of the Hollywood of those countries and their 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 audiences are better than ours because our audiences are pop up sometimes. No, I wouldn't say the audience is better. It's just that we you like you, you, have do, you, you, have you have to do you you have to do the most. That's why like, thank you for us. dancing for us you must, you know, because you at must, least energy to energy. You must come with something. You can't just you come can't stand just, there on stage and, and then we think, just, ah, no, no 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 you must do something. Not in this country. You know what I mean? So yeah. And if you're gonna sing, you must sing very well because you, you because if yeah, you, you just one well. mistake is doy. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> one mistake you know I mean? is so, doy in South Africa. This yeah. country, you guys, honestly, it can be Beyonce. Yeah. Well, men like Af- men like Fanto, mm-hmm. Big Dog, we have the tenets of asking this question to all our guests, my dog. Okay. What do you think you understand about the game that other rappers don't understand? What do you understand about the game that other rappers will never understand that you understand? What do I understand? Like what's that one thing that you're doing right that you know is working? Maybe it's a secret though. It's but we just, don't know. It's my uniqueness. That's uniqueness. what that's what like yo like I know what I have like I know what I got like so yeah. You know what I'm saying like what I have like Cause ain't no other fans from like, like you can't like you can try, you know maybe say yo you kind of like, but you can't say yo you like, you know what I mean because it's phantom. It's phantom. You know what I mean. So like yeah. for me, I think that's that's what makes me different in my own aspect. Like I'm just me, me being me and me doing what I do. True. Yeah. Would you reply to a diss track with a diss track? 
it all depends like what was it i i have to look at the measures okay does it is it is it going to be good for my career is it going to be you know detrimental I mean? yeah, etc those are just like things we have to look at you know that's why even for me when when j cole came out right and apologized you know like people can say yo it's a sport yeah whatever whatever right but at the end of the day you go now or young kuntu you still go home mm. and you still be, like there's still that person or or sing maybe the uh, the raw guy or whatever mm. you know what i mean when it's you get you, home a person, yeah a like yo, when you get home you still a brother with issues you yeah. still a brew with you know what i'm saying mm. like yeah like cuz sometimes we act like we all good like we all perfect we're like fine. nah mm. dude we all got shit happening in our lives like fuck fuck up things or whatever sure. you know what i'm thinking like there's there's always things like you know what i mean like there's no ways that you know what i mean there's not anything happening actually you there's know a what lot I mean? happening yeah so so with him right apologizing how i see it is like yo he was um um he was saying yo i'm not trying to be a part of this because what it's doing to me my energy myself you know and it's not easy to come out like that that's another that's another thing to that's come out and say yo thing. i am not going to be a part of this thing even though yeah whatever mm. we said whatever you know i might have said yo i might have like spoken a lot yeah big three or oh, yeah you know it's always between me and whoever yeah. you know what i mean but now for me to make it this song like the energy it takes to do that that's another thing like yeah. the energy it takes for you to think of another person in a negative sense to be like ah it's, it's like energy let wasted. me ah, let me go what this nigga's doing ah okay ah, oh he fucked up here he did this he did this oh, oh, the he did energy this, he did this. like like yo, i understand the spot ne? i really understand like yo dude i dig the rapping and everything and i think if you're a, like a, a battle rapper then yeah but i don't think j cole is a battle rapper so sometimes i think people mistake in that stuff like True. even even drake i don't think drake is a battle rapper True. that's why we'll probably get like a a vibe He'd be when he drops at this be, song you yeah. know what i mean like as much as he's maybe saying the things he's saying but it's always feels like a vibe it's a song you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. so um and I, kendrick i guess he's just being smart with it kendrick I, is being I smart with it i'll argue that culture of hip hop is being it's mom you have it's to being answer. raised out sorry sorry mom's is calling may mr phantom still have a moment mom's yeah 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 good place and no no cafe to no okay yeah i got to get to send him uh, the details okay sharp Yeah. The call that must always be answered. No one can ta- No one can guys, I could be I could be receiving a presidential electorist I could be doing a speech at parliament. <laughs> and if it's mom. Wait a minute, this is If it's mom. Go baliwe mom. <laughs> Come on man. Even if your phone is on charge on the 6th floor, it's coming down. It has Someone to. is going to bring it to you. It has to. Yo, uh uh-uh, but it also man, to. I had a great great time speaking to you Mr. Phantom Steez. I uh, know, shout um, out. Do you have anything else that you want to add you Mr. See, Ghost? Shelter, the chat is yeah. But one else will argue that the pop is being born in the culture, you know. And it's <laughs> the culture that that makes it yeah pop. yeah that's that's what i was like, basically saying is that yo you know like yo that's it's part of the sport but when you look at that it can go it too be, far though it, it's evolving right now in sa you know what i mean it's like the nikki it's, and and megan beef also. i mean it's like i mean it's it's also one thing that has, that has maybe kept hip-hop like alive you know it's like yo it's yeah it's definitely it keeps part it, of it. it also it's keeps like, it relevant it's like for example it's like i have to For, like I have to beef with someone in order for people to talk about you mm, also. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like in order for some you know what I mean? Like some shit to like be on a certain level. You know what I mean? Even like, views, even mm-hmm. views, it helps your views because yeah. as soon as we find out that okay, Phantom Z is beefing with this person, yeah. we go to Phantom Z's page yeah. to check where the to beef where where the, starts yeah, from and then we start we end up seeing things you d- didn't see before. Before the views, if you 
pop was there with the crown. Like this, that crown in the air, the niggas were always fighting for who is the best. Who's the yes, best? of course. You know I, mean? I remember course. those days. True. Social media. You true. I remember true, those true, days. True. So, right now, it's involving social media and it's part of the culture. Yeah. So, like, it have to be like that. Like, Jacob to apologize, it's discredit him to be, like, to be one of those. I'll give him a chance. Like one of those. Like no, like, look, I'm not saying what what he did was uh, wrong. All I'm saying is that what he did was to say, yo, I don't want to be a part of this because for me, it, you know what I mean? It, it, it's going to destroy me. You know what I mean? It's like energy choice, wise. Yes. Guys. And it's, it's not something that I want to deal with. Thanks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm happy with that, guys. Um, I think the beef culture will stay there forever and yes guys it's entertaining but your story sometimes can get boring sometimes things are repetitive some things are done and said before yeah. okay but otherwise the word of the day today i'm taking away from phantom steez is consistency right here at the my dms podcast we are live at blueprint studios Mr. Phantom Steez, thank you so much one time, one time. for pulling up. I'm your host, Chantal Thomas Worldwide, bringing you nothing but world-class entertainment.